Okay, so here we go with uh, my uh, first go at a Walking Dead Let's Play. Now, it's been a while since I've played this game, so I'm likely to mess a few things up as we're going through it, but I'm sure I pretty much remember everything. Let's uh, delete this one and start a new game. I guess the biggest decision I've got so far uh, to make before I play the game is uh, whether I'm going to play it well or really badly, because the game changes entirely depending on uh, on how you want to play it. So you can end up at the end of the game with loads of people helping you out, or you can just be on your own and lonesome fighting all the zombies. I guess I'll make that call as we're going along with the game. I have to say, I utterly love this game, and when it first came out, I couldn't wait for each of the episodes to be released. And they couldn't come fast enough, unfortunately. Although I did have some issues with it uh, when it carried over to Season 2, that it completely forgot all my choices by the end of the game and messed everything up, so I was a bit annoyed. But I've been through it, I've played the game twice. Once making all the right choices, once making all the wrong choices. Oh, it's supposed to be subjective, really. Okay, so here we go. Introducing ourselves to the main character, Mr. Lee. Yeah, I know you don't like me. Makes you say that. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Hmm. Huh. Nope, definitely not. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the I didn't do it. And what do you say? Looks like I'm having a few issues with the, uh... My HD PVR box, but we'll see whether that turns up in the recording or not. You being a making boy and all. Sick. I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that, even if you was innocent. A lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Don't talk about my wife. He doesn't like he's talking about his wife. You want to know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Okay, doesn't seem to be picking up the right buttons when I was pressing them. We'll see how it goes. So all we know is that back in Atlanta, the fit is most definitely hitting the shell with the zombies. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk the hell glasses. Folk glasses. He was wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not telling him he's got to stop. That's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him up. That's a tolerant individual. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed in himself. 
it goes to show people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. That's a nice bit of foreshadowing there. I got Ooh, another good one for this in the middle of the road. A little bit less depressed. Watch out! More hilarious if I do say so. What's this out? other time. Officer? <laughs> that doesn't it matter. really doesn't. He was a master of understatement. Lee. Okay, let's try and get out of here. I need to drag myself out that window. Out we go. Ooh, smooth. So, first things first. Hello, shotgun on the floor. That's fine, we get up anyway. Yeah, It'll okay, be easier fair. to carry with these cuffs off. Let's have a look over here. Uh, Straighten yourself, Lee. Okay. Officer? He's not going to answer you. God damn. Ah, keys. Now don't you wake up. You look very dead to me. Oh, oh look, the keys have fallen right by his mouth. Can you guess what's going to happen? Now would be a good time to move. Officer. Holy shit! Get away from me! Oh, what are you? Butterfingers. And the first zombie is iced. Yeah. Help! Go get someone! <laughs> oh shit, there's been a shooting. Time to run. Ah! 
Anybody up there? Help! Well, let's go and wander in the house then. Hello? There's something going on. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Don't be alarmed. Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. <sighs> nothing, 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 nothing. I wonder if this family actually had anything there. Shells. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Go find out what the beeping is. What's that flashing? Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. <laughs> anyway, he he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two. Let's of course, go. everything's going to be just fine. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave. 
leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? I think oh. so too. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before Legged. it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. They mostly come at night. Mostly. Let's go. Stay close to me. Okay, if I remember rightly, we're about to go off and meet some of the characters from the TV show. And the comics. Quite a lot of cool cameos in this first episode, if I recall correctly. Uh, uh, oh man, I ain't never getting home with Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. 
What if my parents come home? If they do, they'll eat you. They won't. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you though, okay? Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It's family's should be farm, safe eh? Sir Green. Dad. I wonder whose place that could be. I'm just, just some, some guy. guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. My biggest hope, uh, as, as with the TV series, is that we do not spend anywhere near as long here as we did in the TV series. I was Thank way God too God long in season two. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple of days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone. And though, uh, sure. Too. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. <laughs> okay then. Well... Ridiculous question. Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. If I remember correctly as well here, the conversation choices are so difficult. There's not a lot you can say that makes Herschel actually like you. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That so? Where were you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. 
I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. Very good idea. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come uh, on. Uh, Tell him what you saw ignorance. out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. In which case, he's What do you do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be perfect. Uh, uh, sure. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. The barn it is. Before it gets filled with zombies. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Claire. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna know if You're Kenny. There's a tractor and I everything. I spot a very obvious South Park reference coming soon. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay, and here we hit the first of many of the walk around and talk to everyone segments. <clears throat> so, let's talk to you. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people. 
over some, just... just... It's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? No. People are eating each other. Yeah, it's pretty But bad. they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Those things are gone. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back Spirit in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Oh, I'm sure it can. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Fair enough. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, well, you good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, huh? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Okay, so that's... That one, who else have we got to talk to? Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. Um, go You've somewhere where there are more zombies. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, Whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. Uh, we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? Always. What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, no, no kids. Tempted Would've liked one idea, then. Because at this point, we don't. You know. See ya. Okay. See who else we got. Over we go. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. <sighs> Riveting gameplay. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Bastard. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. 
Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Lincoln. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Achievement unlocked. You have sold wood. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. <sighs> there we are. Let's go and talk to Herschel. Now, as I recall, this is one of the more problematic sequences in the game. I've, I don't know if I've ever actually managed to get through this one without Herschel thinking I'm lying to him. So let's see if we can manage it this time. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Ooh, actually got through it. Nice. <sighs> Go! I'll get my gun. Okay, so it's a we're gonna save moment, and I'm afraid it's gonna have to be Duck. Because the kid, I don't believe, is sorry, the, the brother, I don't remember seeing him walking dead, so he's probably dead anyway. I'm sure as hell isn't coming with us. I got you! Throw us through! Get this tractor off of me! Please, help me! Please! <laughs> First of your family members in the barn.
Got people just silently staring at each other in this game. Grind to make it if you want it. See, there we go again. Ah, so there we go, and we're off from Herschel's farm. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. And the drugstore. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. No, definitely not for it. Fuck! Into the drugstore. <laughs> We can't take risks like this, and we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Clem just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's Tough. not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Let's settle down. Yes, let's. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Lee, what do we do about this guy? Kick his ass. Dad, it's just oh, look, a there you go. Kick his ass. It's... We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, you we're about to be out. trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please position. stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> You and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. <laughs> That's not gonna hey, end well. I'm not the bad guy here. Oh, yes, just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. Like your daughter. Oh. It is. And we're tossing them out now! No! You don't touch that board! You don't touch anybody! 
I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> <laughs> You okay? Just great, thanks. Thank you, Carly. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! We're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? Probably not. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Uh, uh. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. Really right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. But cool. likely you will. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Okay, so, getting pills. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Central High Tech State. Paper's a week old. Feels like years. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. So, what do we think? Mm, no, not working. Nothing. Volume? Nope, not that. Have a look. Have a look. What's this? Oh, no batteries. No batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. And that'll be why it's yeah. not working. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Okay, so... You're a pretty good shot. More talkies. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter. Especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about Flirting. five feet away from me, know. and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Didn't deserve yeah. to get eaten. 
I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Well, Thanks. I'm not yet. I appreciate it. I don't know why I pressed that one. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Okay. I better get back to it. Yep. So, let's have a chat with Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? I'd love to. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Yeah, let's go hang out. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. I can tell it's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. I think you might be right, Doug. Yeah, I think so, too. We better keep it down out of here. <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Okay, what else we got? Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up, and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Nice. It's a combination lock. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Look at the one trapped over there. Better go oh, Ah, uh, Lee's brother. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Yes, he does. He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. <laughs> really? Are you saying he might have the pharmacy keys? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and they'll cheat up and... Shut up, Doc. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. Well, Lee, you could just I'll say, what he's my find. brother. But I guess not. We have a quest. So, let's go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Okay, so that's Doug. That's the greetings cards, photographs. Uh, Lee's parents. And a battery. So I need one more battery. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. I don't remember them very well. Okay, let's carry on looking. An energy bar, okay. I'll talk to them in a minute. Now we have more energy bars. And so I'm fairly 
showing it. There's the other battery. So we have both the batteries now for Carly. And another energy bar. So we have three energy bars and a bunch of people. Who do we give energy bars to? Well, number one, I would say let's give one to Clementine. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. And then I'd say let's give another one to Duck. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our it's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Alright, let's fix the radio. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Alright, let's see. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Nothing. Uh, probably too early stage in the game. Couldn't figure it out, huh? No. We'll come back to the radio later. So for now, let's go into the office. Rest, How can I with those things out there? Okay, so let's have a chat with you. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Well, totally his own fault. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean it. Yeah, he does. Just the... Yeah? Kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Oh, he's not. He's certainly not helping. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were. We were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We yeah, need to much sums it up. together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Okay, so we can't give Larry the energy bar. I don't particularly want to give it to her, so let's just have water in here.
can't think about them in here. Yep, it looks like this is pretty much where they ended up. Family Everett. I think we have our proof now. Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Pragmatic <laughs> woman. Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Nope. No, I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. And there we go, we have someone else on our side. Okay, what else do we have in here? Uh, we have a bed. Lieutenants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Yep, yeah, don't think that worked. Shift this out of the way. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, Dad's just smart like that. And let's shift the desk out of the way. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Of course you can. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Because everyone is crazy. Time. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not either do I. I'm either. with you all the way on that one. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I hate to kill tripping on your I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I, uh, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? 
A little. I'll find you a bandage. In the first aid box. TV. Okay, let's fix a finger up first. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Ah, you're such a good guy, Lee. Okay, that's that sorted. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I don't think they will. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me. Imagine that conversation. Okay. <sighs> what do we have here? Remote control for the TV. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Let's see what's on. That's what I figured. Nothing. Right, let's get out of here because we can't get into the pharmacy without the keys. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Sounds like fun. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Oh, was he bad? No, he was. Or okay, he was. Right, so that's that. Now we need to go and show the photo to Doug. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes, let's go and let's have a look around, look around outside. Okay. Right, so, use the photo. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. Indeed we do. We wouldn't need long, right? Nah. Just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Let's try that. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. Doug, you're a nerd. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. And the geeks shall inherit the Earth. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Oh, look, I got a few of them to take notice. Nope. Even zombies get bored when there's nothing on. Okay, so we're stuck for now, so we need to go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Okay, let's have one more try with this radio, shall we? Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? 
So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay, so let's head out then. Hey, Carly. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Okay, so the zombies upstairs. Zombies outside. Zombies by car. Zombies in the parking lot. Zombies pretty much everywhere. Okay. This is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to keep every one of them in here. Quietly. The wizard tracks these things. Now let's have a look around. Okay, so let's go this way first. So, zombie on the floor. And we have... I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. I was wondering exactly that same thing, Lee. There it is. It's there. Oh, that's... Ow. Hey man, <laughs> that drew some attention. Be careful. Okay, so we can't smash that. Find something to smash that. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Ah, I just remembered what I need for this bit. So I just need to quickly... Leg it back over here. And then around the side, and there yeah, we have a pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. What do you have in mind, Lee? 
See, now personally, I would use the pillow to deaden the noise of smashing the window. However, I don't believe that's the case. So, let's have a look and use pillow on you zombie. Go. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. That was pretty awesome. Okay, so we have the car. Let's have a look in the car. Have a spot plug on the seat. And let's take off the parking brake. It's a spark thing. Spark plug. You a spark thing. Okay, and let's push this. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Oh, we know there's something in the pickup. Just hit the wrong button, okay? Alright, use spark plug on window. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, so let's head back over here and deal with the zombies. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak, sneak. And stab him. Oh, come on, I got him. Alright, that wasn't fun. Let's try that again. sometimes. I'll wait for him to get closer. The head, Lee, the head. Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Let's have out the axe. Do more. That should help. I reckon so. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Okay, here we go. Last two zombies.
Rad. Pretty rad. Okay, so why is the door nailed from the outside? How is the door nailed Hello from the there. outside? We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Stand back. In effect, you might kick break the door. That board first. <laughs> uh. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh God! I, I said, stay away. We need to get you help. It's. Too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't no. be fine. No, My lady, boyfriend was bitten. Be fine. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Yep, she's tough. Her boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. <laughs> it's not Christian. Oh, Glenn. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay, yeah, okay. we're out of here. We'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. Yes. So can I borrow it? What do you mean borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. Go on, give her the gun. You can't be serious. Oh, I'm Do totally it. serious. No. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Why are you putting it on the floor? Just give it to her. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. Shades of Bill Hicks in there. You sure? Pick up the gun. Yeah. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Over. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine. And, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out of here. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. So let's go do that. Carly's got this radio working yet. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Working yet? No. Nothing. Put the batteries in upside down. You 
fixed it. continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones... God bless you all. And that's the end of her radio station. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? I'd love to. Let's have a look around. Okay. So, let's have out the lock. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Slide open the gate. <laughs> and through the window we go. Okay, let's go. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? clean in the head. Oh. Alright, maybe not. You're a wrong shot, Lee. In the head. No, not the neck. In the head. Oh, come on. <laughs> in the head. The head. Thank you. <sighs> that was much more trouble than it was worth. Mm. God. Okay, we have the keys. Holy crap! Run! Look, the zombies are sneaking up on you. Zombies are truly well known for their stealth. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Yes, we did. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Yeah, thank Let's you. get in there.
That's it, time to wake up, zombies. Rise and shine. Chat with everyone, shall we? Hey, Glenn. Hey, 
counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 8 I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. So I gotta take my chances. And you gotta go beat Rick. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be or safe. Not. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. See you around, Glenn. <laughs> That's the bumper sticker. Shit happens. Nice. Okay, let's talk to Kenny and catch you. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. <laughs> Should any of us? No. With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Okay, so we've spoken to them. And we got left Carly. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? No, we could have. I didn't think so. I could have. been pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... Uh? It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you, too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. Very pragmatic of you. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. <laughs> he lied! Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Okay, kids. You, sir, need a punch in the face. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. So I can punch you in oh, the face. Oh, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. 
And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Oh, you so need to punch in the face. Why is there not an option to punch hey, you in the face? Lee, do you have a second? Yes, absolutely for you. Anything. Just to piss him off. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. I thought it was the sound of nothing and people staring at each other pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Uh, and then the power went out. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, well, there you go. That was uh, episode one of season one of The Walking Dead game. And a preview of next time. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did I'm think you'd have saved like the from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's two of the yellow! So there we go, let's have a look at our stats. 63% of players were honest, including me, yay. 49% uh, of players chose to save Duck, interesting. 48% of players defended Kenny, 45% of players gave the gun, and 76 chose Carly. Okay, fair play. Okay, there you go, that was a new day, episode one of season one of The Walking Dead game. I shall be back soon with a playthrough of episode 2. Uh, in the meanwhile, feel free to check out some of our other videos on the Wonky Spanner. We've got uh, panels from conventions, podcasts, all sorts of things on there. So yeah, go check stuff out and uh, I will see you soon. I'll leave the credits to roll.